kind of continuing on. Like I said, this whole uh, thing that Esau set up, you know, we're seeing it fall. You know, this is a game to this to this man. And what does the scripture says that it's a sport for a fool to do evil? He takes this thing for sport. That's why you'll see these different um, hunters. You know, they'll make trophies out of animals and they'll kill them. And, and they'll just do it just to, for the uh, entertainment of things, man. And that's why I say you have poachers. I've seen this one video of these different alligators and gators and crocodiles uh, being killed. And well, it was going to Gucci so they could actually sell fifty, sixty thousand dollar $60,000 bags, you know, so that people could actually live high off the hog, live in luxury. It, but they're living in luxury at the expense of the whole world being eradicated. And that's just that AI mentality of these people. These people are in, in they're not involved with nature. They're, they're fully, they, they get relieved by social media. Social media likes, comments, the greenbacks, the money, the fashion of the world, which we already know what the scripture says, that the fashion of this world is soon to fade away. It fades away hastily. All right, Isaiah 14 and 4. That thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How have the oppressors ceased? The golden city ceased. Right, and that ceasing is the stopping. The Lord have broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. Yeah, and that scepter is the uh, instrument of power. So Esau's instrument of power, which is through the force of the sword, he's lo losing it. He's losing his grips on the earth, man. All right. The Lord have broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. And that's why these different nations, like the scripture says, which I'm going to go into further, the weak, you know, let the weak say I'm a, I am strong. And, you know, the other nations saying how they'll become as weak as we. You know, they're speaking of, they were speaking about the uh, politicians speaking about, you know, the Iran nuclear deal. And basically, uh, I was, you know, listening to the actual debate and Kamala Harris was speaking to Trump, uh, excuse me, uh, Mike Pence about the uh, trade worlds and how we lost the trade war with China and we're basically in the manufacturing recession. And that's all is true. We are in a recession, you know. This is uh the you know the new Great Depression, a Great Recession, Great Depression. You know the dollars are about to collapse. You see these different airlines closing down. You know, hell, even in Black Friday, majority of these, which that's a major shopping holiday, um, right after Thanksgiving. For for people to go uh mayhem to and and the economy makes so much money, but you have Target. You have a lot of these different um, retail industries, you know, these different um, centers that make money from these, um, you know, from, from consumerism. They're forced to shut down and not even actually allow people to actually shop in that much of abundance due to the fact that coronavirus is, uh, you know, killing the masses of the people. We're at, what, two, over 200,000 deaths and this thing is not stopping soon. Like I said, on top of that, the, uh, the type of hell that California is going through, the hell that New York, you know, all these different states. Like I'm, when I speak about California, I'm talking about the wildfires as well as, you know, the coronavirus outbreak and these different sickness. Hey, this place is done, man. And he that has ears to hear and he that has eyes to see will, will see and hear exactly what the prophets and, the, you know, the men of the Lord are talking about and not question it, you know, because, because most people just want to, you know, Try to avoid the facts, justify, and actually pray for America to be... We, we, hey, look, you send curses on this place, man. Send curses that this place falls quicker. The Lord said in the book of Luke that he's seen Satan as lightning fall from heaven. So we're looking to see this man fall in a quickness, in a swiftness. All right? Uh, I read verse four, that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon, saying, how hath the oppressor ceased, the golden city cease. The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. He, has, he who smote the people in wrath with the continual stroke, that's that continual whipping through what? Taxing. You know, the ancient style, where they would actually take the bull whip, you know, and they would actually whip the hell out of slaves to put them in check. But now they use finances, taxes, they also use um, it's a word um, when when you deal with countries, um, sanctions. All right, 
like, like I spoke about the trade war. That was a way that they were trying to whip these different nations in lines. And these nations are like, all right, the hell with America. We don't need America. We'll establish our own uh, financial um, establishment. That's where you had a Brexit. You know? And that tells a lot about America, which that's a biblical prophecy. It's like, yeah. It says... He that ruled the nations in anger is broke, persecuted, and none hindereth. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth in the singing. Right, the ecosystem and the, the earth itself is going to... Could you speak about how the earth... You know, the, the uh, basically the world rejoiceth when the righteous are in the rulership and basically everybody is mourns when the wicked are in rulership. And everybody's in a state of mourning. That's why suicide is at an all-time all high. Depression is at an all-time high. People taking uh, over-the-counter drugs to relieve themselves of anxiety and uh, depression, mood swings, you know, is at an all-time high. All right. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon saying, since thou art laid down, no feller has come against us. Right. So when the white man gets taken down, guess what? You ain't going to have people chopping down uh, deforest deforestation, basically destroying the ecosystem. All right, putting plastic and all kind of um, toxins within the water supply. All right, just destroying the pH. You, you're not going to have all these different animals that's supposed to be in their ecosystem being rearranged and, and shipped to another part of the earth for entertainment. All right, everything is going to be in place. The bounds of Jacob is going to be where it needs to be. The bounds of everybody will be where it needs to be. Even the bounds of Esau, which Esau is bound to be in slavery, and even his land is going to be taken from the Israelites. You know, so hopefully this was edifying. You know, it's so much more I could bring out through the spirit. You know, this is, you know, brothers got to, you know, of course, you know, brothers are. But, you know, this is a thing where you're passionate about, you know, these different situations, man. Because you see the Lord's actual creation being destroyed by this white man. All right. So I want to end by giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Shema, Shabbat, Shema, Kakodash, the bonus of the apostle of the great millstone. Shalom, I'm mocking.